Hey over there, Joe Lunchbox. I'm Joy Nightingale. And today we have landed right here in Tucson, Arizona. Now sadly, it's our last day here in Tucson before we have to fly home tomorrow. And there was a bunch of little odds and ends that we didn't do yet, so mm -hmm. they're not full videos, but we figured we could combine them all. And sprinkle them all together. Yeah, into a full video. Like, the reason we're actually here in Tucson is it was recently Joy's birthday, and last year she told me for her birthday, Things she wants to go is do the Tucson Gem Mineral Show. So that's what we really did. It wasn't enough to do a full video of it because we were actually enjoying Joe's birthday, walking around. Yeah. But we did film some stuff. So even though that was a few days ago, what we filmed at the Gem Mineral Show, we'll throw that in now too. And then you get to see all these little eyes and ends that we're going to do today. So step right up. Let's go for this ride. I didn't really do research. I'm like, Tucson Gem Mineral Show. So I looked up Tucson Gem Mineral Show, booked it. Not realizing that that is actually only one show of the Tucson Gem Mineral Show. So technically, it's Tucson, meaning Tucson. Yeah. Now, we weren't planning to film this new video, but the reason we are in Arizona is for this trip. So I figured, well, if there's anything cool, we'll show you it as we go. This is more Joy's birthday celebration, so not really that much filming at this Gem Mineral Show. But or I like being kids in candy shop. Yeah, hey. I couldn't believe it when I saw this, that there was about around 50 of these Gem Mineral Shows happening simultaneously. And like, this is just one. If you look, we're at a sports complex and it's massive. We're only here for a few. We're gonna go check it out. We went to this one because I heard they have giant amethyst and it's Joy's birthstone, so she wanted to see that. And uh, maybe buy some stones. All I know is this video is gonna rock. <laughs> and gems and minerals and those things. It's crazy, that's Joy, I found our, our sinks <laughs> at this fossil spot for our house. And I just think it's crazy, like, this thing's only $400. I could have all these fossils. That one's on sale for $110. Uh-huh. Like that, I want that to be our kitchen counter now. That's pretty, that's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What the heck? It's plants, those like flowers. Oh. This stuff is crazy. Found what you were looking for. We're getting to big amethyst. It's so big, you could be closed inside an amethyst. I think so. <laughs> Like Joy, I want to bring this sample home with us. Hey! Your sister, your mom, your mom wants to take your granny. This is so neat. Just stand next to that. So get perspective. That is insane! Uh huh. It's crazy when you look at some of these big ones. I know, that one is sold. Wow. I think it's just. <laughs> What fascinates me is how many. Yep, look, the boat just went in. Oh. <laughs> this is oh crazy. Oh. <laughs> this goat is my spirit. He's like, this is funny. It's crazy. Let me know when it closes up. It's getting closed in a giant piece of amethyst. What, do, you, do you know what fascinates me more about sitting in the giant piece of amethyst? How momentum with this thing is you're able to close it. You know how heavy that door actually is. This one is nice. Super heavy? Why don't you bring your legs? Hang out of here. Joy's doing it. Holy cow, multiple times. Hey, you can go climb on the giant. You want me to hold your pocket? Yeah. It's a little cold. Oh, it's going to be okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's going to be okay. Joy, you're going to be okay. Joy, you're in a giant thing of amethyst. I am. Yeah, okay, I'm going to hand you this. This is pretty. I thought it would be dark, but because of like how that. Because these are cool. Oh, so amazing. Can you hold them while you're sitting there? Oh, cool. Wait, what's happening there? I love these cross sections where it's one piece continuous. But the, my favorite one's right here. <laughs> that is just so cool. Warp speed. Whoosh. Look at this thing. Joy, do you want an amethyst bathtub? I 
I found one for you. I thought it was more like a bed, see how it has like a canopy behind the thing. <laughs> I mean, we, we've done bed of nails. We've never done the bed of amethyst before on our sideshow. This is so cool. Just preparing for her photo. <laughs> Magic. More magnetism. Watch, watch, watch. Ready? <laughs> uh, this might just look like a little restaurant. El Charo on this middle of nowhere street in Tucson, but there is a reason we're here. You see, there's two reasons actually. El Choro here is the oldest continuously run Mexican restaurant in America. Since 1922, they've been here. So, me, who believes in food pilgrimages, this is one I felt I should make. And the other thing, we got a little bit of a sun glare, but you see that triangle cage over there? You see, they, they age the meat a little differently. They hang it out in that cage in the sun to dry the meat to make the food. What is it called, Joy? Carne seca. Carne seca. You ready to go have some carne seca? Sure. Let's go. It might be a little bit of a line. I mean, oldest Mexican restaurant. So you gotta wait. Let's go check it out. Joy looks a little tired. We've been waiting about 40, 45 minutes to get her table to eat some Mexican food. Has it been Boy, is she hungry. I thought it was like, 35. No, we started waiting around like almost 15 to a little bit after. It's 532. We smell the food in the background. Soon, soon enough, we'll be eating some Mexican food. And then nap time. We are a little, uh, a little spent today. I think Joy's done. She's giving in. Tapping out. Star date. We've been waiting for about an hour and ten minutes at El Charo Cafe. <laughs> Joy's looking hungry. Hey, you ready to have some? I'm like smelling all of this food. I know. Ready to me Mexican food from the very first Mexican restaurant in this country? Yes. Me too. Yeah. Oh, decisions, decisions. Yeah. Ah, there we go. The carne seca platter, a delicious grand portion of world famous carne seca dried in the Sonoran Desert Sun. Yep. Which margarita, Joy? I'm thinking of the margarita de fruta. Margarita de fruta? Ah, she likes her strawberries. Ooh, and then we can't forget a roasted green chili quesadilla as an appetizer. Yeah. So if the salsa and chips are any inclination, the wait was worth it. We ordered our margaritas and some water. It's funny enough, I wanted to see really inside the restaurant. We were waiting on that bench, right out there. Now we're right here. <laughs> but at least we're gonna try the food, which is a good thing. So it has your fruta margarita. She went for a regular strawberry margarita. Very nice and subtle with the strawberry, not overpowering it. And I figured when you're in someone's house, you should have their house margarita. <laughs> It's actually a really refreshing margarita. Yeah. It's nice. It's lighter than some margaritas are. Like, you know how some of them overpower with the overly sweet, like artificial, uh, like mix it sweet sometimes. Limes and mix it. Yeah, no, it's just a really nice, clean, smooth margarita. Looks like the weight was worth it so far. I'm good. I'm good. Let's wait some more for our... Oh, I can't wait to order to get my corny sake of our... <laughs> Got our roasted green chili quesadilla. Oh, it looks yummy. Try it. You get to try first bite. She wants a small one. <laughs> Just in case. She's always nervous when the word chili's involved. She always doesn't like spicy food. Pepper spicy? Root spicy? She likes root spicy. She doesn't like pepper spicy. But these are roasted green chilies. Or grilled green chilies. So I think it's going to be delicious. Grilled. Thumbs up. Cool. I'm going to try this big one. She was nervous about it. You see, you even see the chilies in there? 
Yeah, it's smoky but sweet because the sugar in them. <clears throat> I'd say if you come here and they say, "Oh, it's an hour, an hour and a half to wait," wait, it's worth it. Definitely. Service without our food. So I got her enchiladas with the. How did I say? I got with the egg on top. And look at this. Oh yeah, that meat was dried in the Sonora Desert sun. I'm excited. What'd you try first? I had a little bit of the rice. I'm gonna try some meat. So, it's a mix of roasted peppers, onions, tomato. So good. So good. Um, yeah. Yeah, really so worth the wait. That I'm having meat that literally hung above a restaurant, dried in the sun, out of this world. Definitely. When they told us an hour wait, we were like, hey, do you want to wait? And we questioned it. So happy we did. Amazing. Wow. That dinner was amazing. We're walking out. It's after 7 o'clock now. We got here. Quarter to five. Quarter to five. There's still, now it's an hour and 20 minute wait outside. But you know what? It was worth it. It was. I think the guy was saying it was like the number one rated. I don't know. But I just know. I just know. <laughs> it was, it was so good. For me. Yeah, that well, was. Uh, not number one, but close up there. It was one of the best Mexican foods yeah. we had ever had outside of Mexico. Yes. I'd say that. Yes, definitely. Now I'm tired though. Mm, so am I. <sighs> now isn't it nap time? Now it's nap time. Well, first we have to get back in the nap. Well, yeah. Oh, are we not napping in the car? No. Okay, okay, we'll, we'll get back first. Then we'll, then we'll nap. Go to the hotel then. <laughs> nap time. So, I found something really cool here in Tucson. A pedestrian walkway. And you might be like saying, a pedestrian walkway? Why is that cool? Oh, it is. Well, you see, if you're driving down Broadway in Tucson to the city center part, downtown Tucson, there's a little park here called Iron Horse Park. I was looking for some Harley Davidsons and other motorcycles, but... Wrong Iron Horse, I Wrong guess. Iron Horse. Just a normal park. But then you come to this. Yes, folks, they turned their pedestrian walkway into a rattlesnake. This is really cool. I like, I thought it was just gonna be like a rattlesnake shape. I didn't realize like down to the marble eyes, the way the support beams are the fangs. Being one of those, uh, since we're in Tucson, I'll, I'll say it cleaner. A bad donkey, let's say. And I thought, they're doing lots of construction. Wow. I always pictured me like selling goods and roses, got a rattlesnake suitcase under my arm. I'm a me machine drinking gasoline and you can make my motor up. Well, I don't got a rattlesnake suitcase under my arm. I got a rattlesnake. I'm in a rattlesnake mouth right now. This thing's awesome. So the question is, if we have a rattlesnake head on this side of the pedestrian walkway, what do we have on the other side of the pedestrian walkway? Okay. Only one way to figure that out. See, now you can see, there it is, downtown Tucson. I like. We, I haven't. We haven't been able to see this yet. Let me see if I can zoom in and show it. Oh, the A. You can actually see on the mountain for Arizona, since it's the University of Arizona here, and we are in Arizona. They put a giant A on that mountain. You know what I've said to that? A. Yep. Henry Winkler will be proud.
Well, we've almost made our way through the full digestive tract in his mouth, through his esophagus, his belly, his small intestine, his large intestine. Okay. I don't know if rattlesnakes have the same digestive tract as us. I'm just making stuff up, but. Um, I think it would be like shortened. I, I don't know. I really do not know their full digestive system of a rattlesnake. I know they got fangs cool. that have venom. Some. Well, all rattlesnakes. Oh yeah, rattlesnakes. I thought I was just saying snakes in general. And we're coming out the other end. We made our way through the full digestive tract. Lucky enough, we survived. And on that other end, we found the rattle. There it is, the rattle of the rattlesnake. I guess it's not angry. <laughs> no, not angry at the moment. It would be cool, you know how some parks have those little blue lights if you feel like you're in trouble? Yeah. That if you push the button and the rattle start rattling to signal, I'm in trouble here. Or like a Batman signal. Batman signal. <laughs> <laughs> I do love it. If you actually look on the outside here where the sun's hitting it, you can actually see it's a diamondback rattlesnake. They actually have the diamond print. And when we were driving under it, the whole belly's painted as well on this thing. So the whole thing when you're driving down the road, even if you can't see the head or the tail from the road, but the body does look like a snake body. Yeah, you can really see the patterning on the, the top of the snake. And as we come down this trail, Hope we get a good view of that bottom. Yeah, you definitely can see the patterning that they put right there along the bottom. So when you're driving, oh, it definitely is stink like. Tracking the body of the snake up to his head in the distance with some of the Segura cactuses in front. Oh, Tucson is cool. Do I have a question for you? What? Do rattlesnakes get hairballs? Let's find out. Because this one has to cough us back up because we got to go back out. We're parked on the other side of the mouth, not the tail end. Nope. Oh, I just noticed how we have some diamond patterns here as well. <gasps> it did go off. I don't know how he signaled it. <laughs> I don't know why. There's a motion sensor somewhere over here. And it's rattling! He's rattling! I was hoping it rattled! It's rattling! This thing just got so much cooler! The rattlesnake rattled at us! Here we go, Joy. We weren't a tasty treat. He's puking us up. Oh, we made it. Ooh, you're right. I missed that too. If we track the tiles, it's his tongue in the ground. That is cool. You see, you see, you see that bifurcated tongue that the rattlesnake has right there on the ground. He's just tasting that air. Yeah. And us too. So obviously me being a kid of the 80s, you could tell how a kitty there. I was such a big fan of in the school, like having the folders and the notebooks of all those like, animals um the cats the horses and everything else i like, like the unicorns and dolphins with like mishmash of all colors and it was because of lisa frank mm -hmm. and i mean it's so sad right now that i'm standing here and i can't even yeah like get into it this is the lisa frank factory so this is here in tucson where they made all those folders back when we were kids of the 80s and 90s lisa frank school supplies all that fun stuff was here uh, sadly, this factory shut down a few years ago. Yeah, I know. Most recent. Yeah. Marvel. Sits here abandoned. As we were driving by, you can make out mildly there's still some sculptures in the lobby. Some people might think it's Lucky Charms. It's not Lucky Charms. It's Lisa <laughs> Frank. 
But I, I'm, I'm, I love that the building is this crazy, still bright colored with these stars, hearts, music notes. I, mean, I have it so much, like, I have Lisa Frank threw up on me. Yeah, yeah, Joy, Joy did her, her unicorn carousel horse, done by a great tattoo artist named Alex Ward. You should look him up. Thank you. He colored it in for her. And we decided it's around. gonna look like a Lisa Frank folder. <laughs> I was kidding folder. around. I was like, I wanted like Lisa Frank threw up on my arm. And, and uh, that's pretty much what it yeah, was. Yeah, it's awesome. But before we head to the airport, something that Joy wanted to see, even though we sadly aren't gonna do any um, breaking and entering today to go explore, mm. I'm gonna stay outside this central armed fence and just take this in for a minute. Joy, you happy you came to see this? I am. I'm happy and sad all in one. I know. You, you I wish you could go inside, take a tour, see the they stuff. Used to have that. I don't know if they had the tours. No, I think oh. they really did have like where you could do like little tours. Okay, well, Joy said they were. I never seen that, but it still is cool. All right, I'm hoping. Joy was. was Joy was <laughs> Let me think about it in my bubble. Okay. Back to the building near yeah, their loading dock. It's a crazy rainbow on the back of the building. Each of the loading dock doors was a different color to make it more rainbow. You can make out some stuff in the front entrance of Lisa Frank. If you look right through that door, you can sort of see a panda and there's some cool sculptures. And what Joy just pointed out, which I don't know how I know this, is the little stuff on top of the fence. We have a music note, a star, a little heart hanging out in the bush. So there you have it. You can see, sadly, we're sitting in the Tucson airport, starting to head home. Yeah. But we did see some cool little things. We did. Hopefully they, you enjoyed a, a little medley of the odds and ends that didn't fit in. Because uh, Tucson has a lot of big things to do, but a bunch of little things that you have to look for. But when you find them, they're cool. They are. Yeah. Some good eats too here. Oh yeah. I enjoyed it. Joy, do you think we could call this one? She doesn't want to call this one. She wants to keep doing some Tucson. I know. I'm not ready to get on a plane either. Go back to real life tomorrow. Day jobs. But for now, we gotta head back to New York. Alright, let's know. call it. Tucson, Arizona. Been, Been there, there, done that. that. Remember folks, safe travels. Goody. And love life. And it's rattling! He's rattling! I was hoping it rattled! It's rattling! <laughs> <laughs>